What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. All right, all right. What's cracking, y'all? Back with some brand new content. Y'all know how we do. Today's episode is about none other than the great Bob McAdoo. Now, want to give a big shout out to CP Goat number three, CP Goat number three, a great contributing subscriber right here at Boo TV. I appreciate you. He gave me a list of players that uh, he said, uh, why don't you uh, check out some of these players? And Bob McAdoo was one of them. And of the players he provided to me, Bob McAdoo was the one that stood out the most because... I was probably more familiar with him than the other players he listed, but still, to be honest, I don't know anything about Bob McAdoo. I know very little, so I was very interested into digging more into the fantastic player that is Bob McAdoo. Now, to be honest, the first time I heard of Bob McAdoo was probably the late 90s, and I was watching Kevin Garnett play. And it might have been the 98 All-Star game. I can't remember. Or it could have been a Timberwolves game. But the broadcasters were drawing comparisons to the great Bob McAdoo when they were talking about Kevin Garnett and said that KG really reminded them a lot of McAdoo. And then I might have done a, a, a little research in the, the maybe the two to three years to follow on Bob McAdoo. Like I said, I really don't know a whole lot about him, and I know he had a pretty decent career and some pretty stellar seasons. Taking a look at Bob McAdoo's NBA career, his accolades and things like that, he was about six foot nine, six foot ten, 210 to 215 pounds, was drafted out of North Carolina and in 1972 with, in the first round with a second overall pick. He was selected by the Buffalo Braves. Generally, he played the center position. Um, his playing career went from 1972 to 1992. Now, that's 20 years, but he only played 14 years in the NBA and then finished his career playing overseas, I do believe. He also had a coaching career from 95 to uh, 2014. All right, he played with a flurry of teams throughout his career, went through some up and downs, got waived, had some injuries, things like that. But those teams would include the team he was dra drafted by, the Buffalo Braves, the New York Knicks, the Celtics, the Pistons, the Nets, the Lakers, the 76ers, and then coached for the Miami Heat from 95 to 2014 as an assistant. Bob McAdoo is a two-time NBA champion with the Los Angeles Lakers, an NBA Most Valuable Player, that means MVP, if you didn't know, five-time NBA All-Star, All-NBA First Team, All-NBA Second Team, Rookie of the Year, made the rookie team, three-time NBA scoring champion, and he was also a member of the 75th anniversary team, so I'm glad that he did make that 75th team. Now, like I said, he was a three-time scoring champion, and those were probably his three best seasons consecutively. In his second year, he averaged 30 points, pulled down 15 rebounds. Season after that, 34 points, 14 rebounds. Season after that, 31 points and 12 rebounds. And you could throw in uh, two to three steals per game with those averages during those seasons as well. Um, the first is his first season with 30, he averaged three blocks. And then the two seasons after that, he averaged 2.1 blocks. Did I say steals? I meant to say blocks. He averaged about one steal per game during during those three seasons. For his career, Bob McAdoo averaged just over 22 points per game, just over nine rebounds a game, just over um, a block a game. What well, might as well say a block and a half a game. And his total sit at over 18,700 points, over 8,000 rebounds, and over 1,100 blocks. His second NBA season remains the last time an NBA player has ever averaged 30 points and at least 15 rebounds. That has not happened since Bob McAdoo. He also led the NBA in field goal percentage, shooting over 54%. Um, that was also the year where he enjoyed his first 
of his five NBA All-Star selections. In the 74-75 season, he was awarded the Most Valuable Player Award, and that was the season he averaged that blistering 34 points per game and 14 rebounds tack on those two blocks while shooting over 50, 51% from the field, actually. And was also actually a great free throw shooter, at least that season, um, shooting over 80% from the free throw line. McAdoo's playing style, especially during his prime, was generally considered very modern for his time. He was one of those players where people say he, he's ahead of his time. He, he, he's ahead. He's ahead of everybody else. Um, his ability to shoot jump shots from the perimeter and also bang inside made him a force to deal with offensively. And in his 300 plus games with Buffalo, he averaged 28 points, 12 rebounds, two assists, two blocks, and a steal. Definitely one of the better players in the league at the time. After that, he moved on to the New York Knicks and in about 170-ish games, he put up some pretty damn good numbers. 26.7 points, 12 rebounds, 3.3 assists, throw in a little over one block and a little over one steal for good measure. After that, he moved on to the Boston Celtics um, where he, he, saw, he saw a minute reduction over with the Celtics playing next to their front court uh, with um, Cedric Maxwell, Cornbread, uh, Barnes, and uh, Rick Roby. And Boston did not have a good record that year. Uh, they finished 29-53, and 53, and then he was moved shortly thereafter, and then we all know Larry Bird came in and then revolutionized the franchise. I guess again. <laughs> After his tenure with the Boston Celtics, McAdoo moved on to the Detroit Pistons where he only played a handful of games, and I do mean a handful, um, before he was eventually waived by the Detroit Pistons. Um, he had been injured, he had been injured, but he claimed he was healthy and asked to be reinstated into the Pistons starting lineup. Um, the coach basically denied his request saying that he hadn't practiced and he wasn't in good physical shape. All right, so after that, same year, 1981, he signed as a free agent with the New Jersey Nets, where he only played 10 games, and this is where he really, well, I ain't going to say this is where he really started, but he was definitely a bona fide role player at this point in his career, averaging only 15 minutes per game with the uh, New Jersey Nets. After the Nets, he was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, and it was there where he started to win his championships, two championships to be exact, where he was a very integral piece as a role player, playing alongside the great Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and James Worthy. After his tenure with the Los Angeles Lakers, and he did play a handful of years there, he finished his career in Philadelphia playing alongside uh, Dr. J, Charles Barkley, Moses Malone before he eventually retired. Look at that logo. <laughs> now that Brave Squad. I think those are now the present day Los Angeles Clippers. Let me know if I'm wrong. Back me up on that one. Fact check me on that one. But I think that's currently the Clippers. Mmm, look at the post move. Spin, step through. The layup. My word, Bob McAdoo. Stop playing with him. Wet. See, some dude's jumper be looking crooked, but it be going in and it works. But his jumper look clean. Look at that form. Now, when he gets to his release point, he quickly releases it like with a like snap. He'll he raise up and then snap. Raise up, snap. I noticed that. There's oh, that will. Look at that will. Look at that post move. Pump fake. Yeah, he kind of hangs there and just. Now the one is these Laker highlights. That's when he passes prime. Mm. 
off one leg. What are we talking about? Hand in the face. Come get them buckets, boy. Six foot ten. Look how fast he is for his height. Extremely agile. Extremely quick with his feet. Time to go mobile. Ball handling. Mid range, clean. Can get to the rim, can finish, can play in the post. This man could do it all. He's definitely thriving today's NBA with without having to make any, you know, adjustments or you know, add anything to his game. He's perfectly fit for today's league. And he would even bring a post presence, something that's not valued in today's game. And he he eat a lot of these guys up. Look at that footwork. Pump fake. What's up? Ooh, behind the backboard. Lean now with the right hand. What are we talking about? I can definitely see some of the comparisons to Kevin Garnett. I would say that Bob Mack... Oh, okay. I would say that Bob McAdoo is a better ball handler than KG. And KG was a great ball handler for his height. KG was 6'11". McAdoo was about 6'10". But KG was not this fast. KG was not this quick off his feet. KG could put the ball on the floor and make moves, but but not as quick as this guy. At least face up. KG went to the post a little bit more than probably Bob McAdoo, and this is just me judging from these highlights, but KG used to work in the post a lot, but he could face up dribble Screen pop, shoot jumpers in your face all day. And occasionally get on the floor, put it between the legs, maybe do a crossover, blow by, into a into a post move, finish at the rim. But he he couldn't face up like him. Not like Bob McAdoo. Definitely more mobile than that KG. Not saying that mobile that KG wasn't mobile, he was. But but McAdoo still got some serious agility, man. Mm. And, and, and in my face. Hand in my face. And hand in my face. Taking that contact. Still going up strong. It's good defense. Better shot. I could do like that's a free throw. Shot, that shot be looking butter. Good post move. Fade away. Okay. Put back. Ooh, switching hands on him to the jam. Nah, he tried to swipe that ball low. Good rebound into the fadeaway. Rebound. Snatched it. Pivot, spin, fade. That was clean, Bob. That was clean, boy. Carolina. It kind of reminds me of, or not, well, Bobo Bo reminds me of Bo, Ma uh, Bo McAdoo. Bobo reminds me of Bob McAdoo. But Bobo has a little bit more point guard abilities. And he's still young. He still has a lot of growth to do, Bobo. For show, for show, for show, yo, that 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 was a dope career mix, man. He he could do it all. Even early in the league, he was out here stretching the floor. And it wasn't just spot up shots. Like I said, he out there putting the ball on the floor. I shimmy shake you, go into a fadeaway, drop down, drop my shoulder, put you in the post, go to work, use my pivot feet, use my fundamentals, use the backboard. I am Bob McAdoo, baby. And what your name is? Now you tell me what your name is. Bob McAdoo, baby. I can definitely see a little Bob McAdoo and Kevin Garnett, but I see a lot more Bob McAdoo when I look at Bow Bow. I see a lot more Bob McAdoo and Bow Bow. And Bow Bow, I just hope he gets to a team where they he can be the focal point and they run the offense through him because Orlando Magic are stupid deep right now with a bunch of young talent and Orlando Magic are coming people I'm warning you they are coming 
And as great as he is, you know, he's a unicorn at his height and everything he can do with the basketball, but he's not a priority on the team. So at first I thought he would be, but I didn't see the magic coming through with all his depth and young skills. So I, they're, they're going to have to move some pieces and figure things out to p start putting a playoff roster together as these players continue to grow. But I would like to see Bobo go to a different team where he can be highlighted. But this ain't about Bobo. <laughs> I'm just going on a tangent right now, but... Yeah, McAdoo, um, absolute beast, man. Absolute beast. I wish he could have had more more seasons performing at peak level than the ones he had. And I, like I said, I don't, I don't know everything about McAdoo. I don't know the extent of all his injuries, but I can find out. And how much that actually plagued him throughout his career but uh sensational player if I, if I had to say so myself appreciate the recommendation fam appreciate that recommendation cp goat number three coming through once again baby y'all check out our reaction video playlist all our playlists see if there's anything else you might be interested interested in appreciate that support like, comment, subscribe, share. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.